Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to change the page size in Google Drawings. My name is Tyler Osborne. So I'm here in my 21 cent test and I want to show you how to change the page size in your Google Drawing. It's really easy to do. If you go down into the bottom right hand corner, you can see these um, um, slashy lines and your cursor changes from the regular cursor into the arrows. If you click and drag when you have the arrow, you can change the page size like that. Now you can see that as I change the page size, it actually zooms in on my image a little bit, but it didn't warp my image. It didn't change the proportions of it. This is a key difference between uh, Google Drawings and Google Slides. When you change the page size in Google Slides, it warps your images. When you do it in Google Drawings, it keeps everything consistent. Now, let's talk about why you might want to change the page size. The first thing I'm going to do to illustrate this is download this particular image. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go Download As, and I want to save it as an image file. And you can save it as a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG. PNGs are the ones that you want to use the most often. Scalable vectors are also really cool, but that'll be another video. Let's do a PNG file. So I've downloaded it as a PNG, and you can see that I have two separate copies of this. I, I already downloaded one as a different demonstration. So I'm going to scroll, I'll move my um, desk over here for a second, and then I'm going to go into my Google Slides to show you the difference between the two. Now, in Google Slides, I also have a desk that I created, but when I click on the desk, you can see that each one of these pieces is a separate um, image, and I've just grouped them all together. What we've downloaded now is we've downloaded an asset, which is the Google image um, from Google Drawings. Now, I'm going to upload two versions of this desk that I had in Google Drawings. Well, I guess I have to do it separately. I'll do them one each. So there's one, and I'm going to do the other one. There we go. Now, they look the same, but there's a key difference between the two. Do you notice how this one has almost no space around the outside of it? Whereas this one, when I click on it, that box is much, much bigger on the outside. And if I try to make the box smaller, it's just going to make my desk smaller. And that's not what I wanted at all. There was an error that I made over in Google Drawings, and we'll go back and talk about it right now. So here we are in Google Drawings. And you see all this extra space that I have right here? The reason that you want to change the page size in Google Drawings is to get it as small as possible around the assets that you're creating. What we are doing in Google Drawings is we are making little drawings that can be used in other programs. That is what an asset is, like that. In Google Slides, Google Slides is a publishing um, application. It uses assets to create um, publication pages. Google Drawings is where you're going to actually create the assets themselves. So I created this, um, or sorry, I made my page so much smaller, and it's just around the icon, the desk that I created. Now when I import it into Google Slides, this is the one that has no extra space around it. This is the one that had all that extra space, and the problem is that I have a box that's much, much bigger than I need. So if I want the desk to be the same size, do you see how my box just covers everything? That's going to make it really hard and annoying to work with this particular image. So make sure that you make your page size smaller in Google Drawings, as small as you possibly can make it, so that when you're using the asset that you created in other applications like Slides or Docs, it's not annoying to work with. This is the one that you wanted. And that's all by changing the page size. Last thing I wanted to tell you about back in Google Drawings is this checkerboard background that I have right here. This checkerboard background means that it's transparent. We can change the background image. We can change the color behind us, um, in, behind this desk, but then it wouldn't be transparent. The advantage of having a transparent image is that you can layer them on top of other images and still see the other image behind it. There's not a white box that's blocking it in. An image that doesn't have any um, background to it, like this one, is called an alpha. So Google Drawings is a great place to create these high quality alphas and save them as assets for, their, um, for the rest of your publications. So over here is a, uh, an alpha that I created recently. I created a whole bunch of keyboard keys for me to um, create things to share with you from 21 cent. Now each one of these images is an alpha. And when I go into my Google um, 
Google Drive, you can see that here are the Google drawings, but right underneath I have the, uh, I have the downloaded image files. And when we look at them, they're just perfect. They, they come out just how I want them to be and I can import them in any program that I want to use these assets. All right, bit of a complicated video, but that's all you need to change. Uh, that's all you need to know about changing the page size in Google Drawings. Remember, you just use those uh, slashy lines at the bottom right-hand corner, and then away you can go. <laughs> Thanks for watching.